CapCut just dropped an AI design tool that lets you create literally anything from product posters, thumbnails, logo designs by just chatting with it. I used it to make promo designs that brought in real sales during Black Friday week. And in this video, I will show you exactly how to use it. Make sure you stick to the end for one creative way of using this very tool. All right, guys, let's get started. I'm using version 7.5. When you go to the home page, you're going to see AI design sitting right here. Just click on that. It's going to open this very window. Top here is the text box that you can input your prompt and also your image right on this side. It's currently free, but you have 10 uses a day. But guess the trick. You can sign in with different accounts so you can have more than 10 uses a day so down here are some prompt examples that you can use when i click on one you can see how it looks like it's just going to guide you also when you click on this very it's going to rotate and you can choose one of these very prompt examples that they have on this side then when you come down here we have inspiration and also my project with the inspiration this is just going to guide you and also give you an idea of what you can use this very tool for so when you look down here we have product posters then we have instagram posts outfit swap then when you scroll down we have youtube thumbnail scroll down again and you can have product in hand logo design and so much on this very side now when you scroll up and you go to my project it's going to take you to whatever project you've been creating with this very tool before we jump into the inspiration part let me show you how to create from scratch i'm going to input my prompt so as you can see simple prompt i'm like create a youtube thumbnail using the provided image i'm going to add an image to it and when it comes to the prompt always keep it simple now i can go to this side and click on this side to bring in my image so i'm going to go to the folder i'm going to use this very image and click on open from here i can just click on send ai tool is going to think for a while and create your design for you this page is like a basic photo editing space that you can use when you click on it it's going to bring you these options that you can use the edit layers is going to allow you to move the layers around on the screen also when you go to this side we have remove bg that's background if you want to remove that then when you click on this drop down menu you have some ai tools that you can use paint in paint it's going to bring you this window you can paint a session and you can add a prompt if you want to change something or add something to the very thumbnail or your design let me close that also the same with the expand and also remove you can remove some objects remember all of them have five free uses that you can use also when you go next to it we have crop and also if you want to replace something or your image you can click on this then when you click on this it's going to bring you more options that you can play around it on this side you can do some adjustments when it comes to the color the saturation and also the contrast i'm going to close that then when you come here it's going to give you options where you can upload a new image replace it and also if you want to add some text to this very thumbnail design you can do that let me close it also when you go down here we have stickers and also shapes that you can be playing around it after creating your design if you want to do some changes you can chat more with the ai tool so let's just say you can change the text and click on enter and the ai tool is going to use that to change the color to white so as you can see it was able to change the text to white right at the top very simple when it comes to this very design from here you can click on download it's going to bring you this option if you want to share straight to your Facebook page or Instagram, you can do that. Most of the time, I'm going to download to my PC so I can click on this space. Then one thing I forgot to tell you guys, let's go back and let me show you. You can change the name of it right at the top. Then I can go to download. Then from this side, I'm just going to click on download. It's going to download to my PC. By the way, if you're ready to level up your editing skills, I've got a step-by-step -step course that shows you how to edit like pro using CapCut. Link will be in the description to get started now let me show you how to go about it when it comes to the inspiration part so with the inspiration part i'm going to start with the product poster set just click on that it's going to bring you this window from here i can click on make it yours and then it's going to take us to the photo editing space on this side i'm not going to use this very image i'm going to use my own images that i have so i'll just delete right on this very side then i can upload my images i can go straight to the folder that I have the images click on that then i can select all the images drag and drop on this very space that's one way you can upload your images then with the prompt you can tweak it a bit or you can just leave it like that if it's going to fit whatever you're going for then i can click on send so this is what it was able to create you can see it is really clean i have no idea when it comes to graphic design
mind and just look at it it's going to create five options since i wrote five black promotional posters when i click on it you can see what it was able to create this is really great for e-commerce brand from here once again as we did previously when you click on it it's going to bring you these options that you can do some tweak to it then from here you can click on download to download your file now let me show you another inspiration part this time around we're going to go for outfit swap click on that and click on make it yours once again i'm going to delete the images it comes with go to the folder where i have my images i'm going to use this very image of me and also this very t-shirt drag and drop on this very side then i'm going to tweak the prompt this time around then from here i can click on send so this is what it was able to generate you can see it looks a bit like me and this you can play around it and create more options now let me show you one creative way of using this very tool i'm going to input this very prompt so this is a prompt i got from ChatGPT. it's about 3d image that i want to use then i can click on send without using any image as a reference this is what it was able to generate exactly what i have in mind from here what we can do is we can click on download and download that to my pc then i'm going to close this window go to my home page and create a new project from here i can bring in that very image just drag and drop in CapCut. with this image i want to generate a video from it so what i can do is i can right click and go to image to video it's going to bring me this very option from here i can input my prompt right on this very side then with the model i'm going to click on that i normally go for runway gen 4 it gives me great results then with the duration i can select five seconds or 10 seconds aspect ratio i'm going to go for 16 by 9 since i'm going to post on youtube then from here i can click on generate from this you can see it has this black bars that i don't like so i'm just going to zoom in in for it to fit the screen then when you play it's gonna have this nice camera movement around the subject so that's all for today catch you guys in the next one peace